Hello, my friends. I am just going to go ahead and start digging into the United Nations because I think that uh, we need to focus on what's really going on. I especially think that this video will be important for those who maybe are non-believers in God uh, completely. Um, I know that I have had conversation with a few that are just questioning, you know, where is God? And they're sitting on the fence trying to understand what is really going on. I feel that um, the way that Jesus exampled uh, is the key. I do feel that it is our es escape clause. And I am going to change the word I do feel with I do know that Jesus and the way, the truth, and the life is the escape clause. And the reason that this video will be good for you to get off of the fence is because I'm going to show you um, what those lords and gods self-proclaimed of this world are doing because they are trying to control humanity's destiny through their prayerful and magical doings to their god, Lucifer. And so if the opposite of Jesus exists, then Jesus does exist, if that makes any sense. They take this fight very seriously. They want complete control over humanity and this world because Lucifer wanted to be God. Therefore, he has enlisted the help of the angels that came with him and the humans that are on this globe who have sworn their allegiance to him and so he has a very big and powerful army and then to the those who are really into the new age belief that we just need to ignore all of the bad and it will go away because bad is a perception. You know, I get where you're coming from with that. I do. Because, you know, what's to say that the thief who stole the bread is really a bad person if he was trying to feed his family? You know, there is a perception there, I agree. But the problem is, is that the a lot of the New Age teachings that teach this duality are having you focus on nothing but the unicorns and the, the fairy dust and the religious are too busy just parroting Jesus' scriptures and I guess this is my opinion but I think that we need to know our enemy and we need to find the balance and I define evil as lack of compassion that's that's my definition for evil do no harm do no harm that is the law of God it's a natural law because if you do harm then harm is going to come to you. You know, I, I don't agree with this. Everything has to be balanced. That I don't believe that that's what God's intent was. I believe that our planet was hijacked. Sorry, enough rambling. New group of world servers handbook on the poster. The new group of world servers. The power in which will eventually wield will be drawn from two sources. 
first from the inner center of subjective world government, whose members are responsible for the spread of these ideals and ideas which have led humanity onwards from age to age. The inner center has always existed, and the great leaders of the race in every field have been connected with it, the great idealists and world workers, such as the Christ and his brother, the Buddha, and those lesser workers, such as Plato, Spinoza, Abraham Lincoln, and Florence Nightingale, have all been associated with this center. The range of these associates is tremendous, and the grades of these workers are many, but self-sacrificing work for the betterment of human living and love their fellow men have distinguished them from all, yet all drew their light and inspiration from the center focal point. Ask questions. What do they mean by the central focal point? The members of this government, government means to govern the mind, may be alive in physical bodies or discarnate. They are telling you they believe in 3D physicality and the spiritual world. It is assumed that there is a belief in immortality among those who are reading these pages. Do you believe that? A belief in the perpetuation of conscious soul in some dimension. These great souls are primarily distinguished by the fact that they know no mental limitation and their inclusiveness is such that for them there are no racial distinctions nor religious difference. The second source from which the new group of world service will draw its power will be from the men of goodwill in the world at any given time. They will be able to swing into activity at any moment such a weight of thought and such momentous public opinion that they will eventually be in a position definitely to affect world affairs. One of their functions will be to bring into touch with each other men of similar ideals and also to direct and further their efforts. Knowledge of these ideals will spread everywhere in the face of opposition and distrust. These truths must be expressed in every possible language and by every available means, and every available person must be utilized to circulate them. No effort should be spared at the present time or for the next few years. This work must, first of all, be undertaken through the medium of the printed page, and later, when trained people are available through the medium of the spoken word. There must be synthesis of effort and the elimination of unnecessary and personal aspects of the work. They try to tell you that, um, well, it is not a new organization. That is correct. Not a new organization, which is forming the world. No, it's been around a long time. But they're trying to tell you that this is only a loose linking together of all men of constructive peace, aims, and goodwill. Okay? It is not loosely linked. It is definitely a tight group and they have sought them out in every department of life it tells you right here the educators the philanthropists creative workers the industrialists ordinary homemakers basically in the rank and in the ranks of labor here's master master kathumi who's calling on all of the men to study the principles of the New World Order. Right there, folks. This is what the New World Order is being built off of, off of the spiritual, uh, the spiritual government who is putting it into place, the spiritual government that is governing the physical government and the spiritual government is a spiritual hierarchy I'm going to link this video but I just wanted you to listen the, the Saturn uh, purple is all through this video purple 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 through this whole video right here listen to this financiers and others who work with them who use money wisely in the service of others you catch that financiers who use money 
wisely in the service of others. Tell us why there is so much pain and suffering. Well, that is in their writings as to why there is pain and suffering. It's necessary. They even tell you in their PDF that detachment is of the utmost importance and that some people must die because they are not ready to move on this time around. Oprah Winfrey, shame on you, holding her book clubs and teaching the secret. Yeah, she had a secret all right. Occult meditation. Okay, meditation coupled with service and study is the manner par excellence of establishing contact with the soul through the use of occult meditation. There develops an alignment and an integration of personality, a necessary prerequisite to becoming a soul-infused personality. Okay. Eventually, the soul will be able to communicate via the mental plane with the physical brain. I meditate. I am still and quiet so I can hear the still and quiet voice of God. Meditation simply means to quiet the mind. But no one should be telling you how to pray or how to connect with the Father of everything. No one. And what it is is that they are using this power they've tapped into because there is a way to tap into it uh, illegally. <laughs> they've found a way to manipulate it. And they're committing a most grievous sin because they found a way to manipulate energies through planetary alignments and through using numbers and their vision boards which their vision boards is was taught in the secret you know to make yourself a bulletin vision board but they do it through mass media and commercials there's nothing wrong with meditation what's wrong with meditation is their intent behind it They want us to have an increased capacity to act as transmitter, generally and specifically as agents for the transmissions of hierarchical energy through the group during the festivals and the lunar meditations. Most of my work that I did on this is gone. My computer that was less than a year and a half old literally melted. I've had this issue every time I try to delve into these topics. This person here also said that the links that he had made ended up gone and that has happened to me too where I find really great links and then they end up gone or moved because they don't want us finding them but he does add here that thanks to Google Cache he was able to verify the information and I already knew it to be true but I want to repeat it Blavatsky had formed the Lucifer Publishing Company in 1920 in 1922, the organization's name was changed to Lucius Trust. Though the advancement of the Luciferian belief remains, beliefs that, in Blavatsky's words, oppose the materialism of science in every dogmatic theology, especially the Christian, which the chiefs of the society regard as particularly pernicious. Lucius Trust promulgates the work of the Ascended Masters, and now Alice Bailey, who's picked up the torch, have established um, 
the connection with the United Nations. She actually wrote the uh, mission statement for the United Nations and using Blavatsky's works called Externalization of the Hierarchy of the Ascended Masters, they are your spiritual government. They are looking to establish a permanent age of Aquarius ruled by one Sanat Kumara or the Lord of this world because they believe that Sanat Kumara is the Christ. Lucius Trust is a powerful institution and enjoys consultative status with the United Nations, which permits it to have close working relationships with the UN, including a seat on the weekly sessions. And it influences powerful business and national leaders through the world. It's aggressively promoting a globalist ideology. Authors and participants in its various conference read like the who's who of globalist insiders featured on the website. For example, the Universal Declaration of Human Responsibilities put forth in April of 1988 a companion document to the notorious UN Universal Declaration on Human Rights. Signatories of the World Goodwill document included Helmut Schmidt, former Chancellor of West Germany, Malcolm Fraser, former Australian Prime Minister, Oscar Arias Sanchez, former Prime Minister of Costa Rica, Shimon Perez, Robert McNamara, Paul Volkner, and Jimmy Carter. It's as much as a political organization as an occult and religious one. Lucius Trust is run through an international board of trustees whose members, and this is where he initially says is said, but then found out that the link in order to support his claim was found via the Google Cache, which is on this page, and I'm going to attach a link. So the membership includes John D. Rockefeller, Norma Cousins, Robert McNamara, Thomas Watson, IBM, former U.S. Ambassador to Moscow, Henry Clausen, Grand Commander of the Supreme Council, 33rd Degree, Southern District, Scottish Rite, and Henry Kissinger. This ties Bailey influential occult organization into the international conspiracy of elitists, including the Council on Foreign Affairs, Foreign Relations, the Bilderbergs, and the Trilateral Commission. The uh, connections were also confirmed to Windsor's International Bank and Trust Company. The Windsor Bank plainly states that it's a member of, advisor to, affiliate of, friend of, benefactor of, or contributor to the following organizations to name several. The International Fund for Development, Hall Family Foundation, Rockefeller Foundation, Habitat for Humanity, Lucius Trust, United Nations, National Resource Defense Council, Capital Missions Company, Investor Circle, Coca-Cola, Fellowship for International Education, International Monetary Agency, International Center for Educational Advancement, Christian Fund, Christian Children's Fund, Black America's Political Action, Fellowship for Reconciliation, National Institute for the Advancement of Science, International Association for Environmental Cooperation, World Wildlife Federation, Council on Foreign Affairs, CARICOM, NAFTA, Mercosur, Council of Emerging Nations, Freedom Communications, the European Institute, United Nations Association of the USA, the National Association of Colored People, that's the NAACP, and the Royal Heritage Charitable Relief Fund. And here is where he says, after I had posted the discovery about Windsor Bank, all the traces and connections had disappeared. But he salvaged a copy and um, attaches the Google Cache page. One disturbing aspect is the blatant targeting of children. That is so true. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. There's more connections. Lucius Trust directs an activity called Triangles in Education, which is partnered with groups that make contributions to the task of laying the foundation for new education. According to Bailey, as part of the overall work of the new group of world servers, a band of obedient workers and servers of the Word. The Word being the teachings of her channeled master, Jijual Kool, through her voluminous occult works, the word has also been heeded by the likes of Robert Mueller, former Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations and winner of the UNESCO Peace Prize, or UNESCO Prize for Peace Education in 1989, for his World Core Curriculum. Core, core people, core. 
The underlying philosophy upon which Robert Mueller's school is based will be found in the teaching set forth in the books of Alice Bailey by the Tibetan teacher Tishwal Kul. Core was approved by the Board of Governors of the Rockefeller Foundation. Everybody thinks it's a federal program. It is not. <laughs> I'm moving fast because I don't want to make this too long. The networks of light. Um, from Target Faith and Freedom. You guys can go read that yourselves. Oh my gosh, my neighbor has got Christmas music running and it's, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's just been a constant over and over and over. Okay. They're looking for you all to become increased capacity to act as transmitter transmitters generally and specifically as agents for the transmission of the hierarchical energies through the group during festivals and lunar meditations. Um, sorry for being a little bit. Okay, this is really interesting. Um, do I want you to test? This is called the Destiny of Nations. Okay, I think this is the one. Let's see, it talks about the outgrowth of the present world upheaval that is difficult for an average student to conceive of its nature. There's five energies together will determine the trend of world affairs, the problem before the hierarchy at this time. Remember every time I say hierarchy, they're talking about seven spiritual masters you cannot see. It's so to direct and control these powerful activities that the plan can be rightly materialized. This is stuff coming from the etheric realm and the close of this century and the beginning of the next see the purposes of God Lucifer for the planet and for humanity to assume right direction and proportion in this way the new culture for the relatively few and the new civilization for the many during the coming age will start in such a manner that the peoples of this earth can go forward into an era of peace and true development spiritual material I would like to remind you the fact that you see the world picture as one of outstanding chaos, striving ideologies and warring forces, persecution of minorities, hatreds which are working out into furious preparations for war and of world anxiety and terror does not really mean that you are seeing the picture as it is in reality. New Age BS You are seeing what is superficial, temporal, ephemeral and entirely concerned with form of aspect. I understand what they're saying, but I also understand that I'll have to think of a good way to metaphorically say it. The hierarchy is primarily occupied, as you know, with the consciousness aspect and with the unfoldment of awareness using form as a means only for the accomplishment of its design. Yeah. They're forming the chaos on purpose because they want to bring us all to our knees. A closer study of the forces which are producing the outer turmoil may serve to clarify your vision and restore confidence of God's plan and its divine love and loveliness. Let us therefore consider these forces and their originating centers and acquire perhaps a new vision. I'm sorry, I just, uh, listening to my mom, I have a baby monitor on her.
we are going to get into this seriously. I'm going to finish it for you all. The Arcane School. I'm going to have to end this here because my battery is going dead on the baby monitor and I have to keep an eye on my mom and she is my priority. All right, my next video is going to delve into this and we're going to go over the whole PDF. And this is called The Arcane School Service of the Plan, Study 2, and this is the Department of Religion. The New World Religion and the Universality of Life, the Process of Initiation into the Life of God, the Science of Invocation and Evocation. So I hope that if you were on the fence with regard to what is going on and whether or not a God exists, uh, well, I'm going to tell you this. There are a lot of self-proclaimed lords and gods, and there is uh, a spiritual world out there, and therefore there is a big G daddy God out there too. So get off the fence and let's go on a journey together and let's see if we can figure out what we're going to do about it and not sit on our tushes. Thank you all for listening and have a wonderful evening.